Hello guys, welcome back for day four of TFT day by day. Um, so we're continuing the series. It looks like we're a bit stuck on the loading screen. So yesterday we actually lost our first match. It was a fifth placement um, with Invokers. Think it would be valid to actually do a review of that one. Um, uh, we might do that as a, a side series at some point, uh, review all the games we lost and try to learn from them. Let's see what options we have here. We have Red Towns, so I mean it's Lucky Shops, Kainhack Knox Crya, that's an annoying one. Well actually I like this one just because it's it like forces placements, so it's fun to play around. And Placidium Library, which just means expanding. Yeah. Gonna go for Rat down here. I am a teacher. Here's what I learn. Lucky shops basically mean focus on leveling more than re-rolling. Because good shops should appear. Every round. Okay, just some straight up gold. Can we actually, like. So we have TF, Earth. Oh, there's still a lot of variety in the. In the legends. I tend to play Poro just because it's the most like authentic DFT version, in my opinion. Also leads to the most variability. Uh, we could go for a Slayer comp, we haven't really done that yet. But I do not want to force it, so. The Nox has also leads into Slayer, so it's still, it's always a possibility in the end. You do need some attack speed though for the. What's his name? The Mordekaiser to work. We have Titanic Strength here. Oh, that's an interesting one. After losing your combat, this is basically try to lose streak. Uh, stars are born. No, let's do Titanic strength. Let's go for it. Uh, let's also clear this from the last game. Get our bruisers on the field. Uh, level up just so we can put him in. Okay, that just means. Well, Relieve ourselves of this. Uh, is there some good bruisers? Ah, uh, yeah, the the Rex. I we actually do want to give the Sterex. So this one has spoils of war, and this is the Darius player, probably. Yeah, uh, not the Draven player, not Darius. So Titanic Strength basically gets some extra AD. I mean some, it's it. It does get up a lot when you get like six bruisers. Uh, because you basically have double the health pool. Oh, immediately lucky shop. That's great here. Wow, actually double level up on champs. Absolutely massive. Let's see if anybody else got some level ups. Okay. Or some. Ooh, this one is an annoying one. I actually got the Noxus Crest. So let's see. Pandora's items, so you'll just get the items you want. That was 
just a lot of eating there. But as you can see, already 22 AD. It does really stack up. I might think about re-leveling here to see if we could get to the... No, let's let's wait for this round. If we win, I'm gonna pre-level. Just so that we get our level 5 shop already. And get a higher chance of getting the Rek'Sai. Okay, this is the Noxus Gump. We should win this still. Okay. Yeah, we should win still. Yep. Our healing and our health. Is still enough. Oh, I was gonna pre level. I forgot. Oh, well, it happens. Uh, actually, the HP here would be great just to get the redemption going, get our tank some healing, and of course, it gets stolen. What do we do then? Might just go for the armor. I think that leads to Protector's Vow. Just a big shield. Okay, uh, let's do this. Make sure Renekton is the one that gets the buffs. Wow, Cho'Gath doesn't have a lot of stacks yet. Well, he'll get there at some point. It's not like we're per se going for the stacks here. If we can get a Bruce Ramblem at some point, that'd be insane, obviously. Oh wow, he has a lot of damage with the social distancing. I did not see that coming. Losing our win streak here does make us suffer a lot. Probably made the mistake of selling the the dog instead of the Casio. Probably should have kept the and the little doggo. Uh, what's his name? I actually, don't know it. It's one of the newer champs, so. how this one turns out. They have a lot of AoE, a lot of healing. Okay, but Cho got a munch. That's great. Yeah, no, the healing is too big here. The Dark and Heart plus healing. Wait, what is Ixtal? Fire. Okay, that shouldn't have mattered. Let's keep this like this. See if he can munch it. Hope he can. Uh, we want to keep the protector's vow for the Sejuani. Let's see what we're getting here. Oh, the Rek sign, that's perfect. Let's, by the way, Land this quickly. Rek'Sai, Sejuani. So these are our six bruisers, at least. Um, well, it's at least that level up. 
Got us some gold. We actually, oh, okay. Got two champ level ups of this. And the only thing, of course, is that this is probably gonna be stronger. Also giving us this little thing. Get the Sterex on this guy. The AP, I'm not sure what to do about. But now at least he should have a decent amount of extra AD. They all should now. Like now is the point where it starts like stacking. Now we'll get to 6 as soon as possible to get our Shirima back in. Of course for that Shirima buff we prefer this one. But we might not... Okay, this seemed like a pretty easy win. <laughs> I think we only lost the Void Lady. Cybernetic Bulk here is insane. Just a Bruiser Crest. Uh, Bruiser Crest is gonna be just straight up better than the Dedication here. So... That actually allows us to not be focused on this guy per se. And go and try to play Slayer with this. Get the Bruiser Crest on the Mordekaiser. Right? And then that's our two Slayer. And then we want six. What's the last Slayer we want here? The Quinn actually. No, and of course we don't have the Shirima, but I don't think there's a Shiriman player, so so it shall be. Okay, still winning this one. Now oh, he's going full Draven. We want to do this here. Get the Shirima. And get us a Dark in. Currently, we can actually give him this just to get him some extra gold and extra AD. Because it does help for the Dark in daggers, the passive. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is the comp, right? No. I think it is one of the more meta comps. Uh, I think Vi is doing insane damages for some reason. Like doing sundering damage too. Okay. This guy just had a lot of gold. Anything here we want. Oh. We have this thing. What do we want from this thing? Probably the AD here. Of course. Oh no, actually the uh, the, the crit here. Because we want it on the Mordekaiser. Yeah. That's good for the Mordekaiser. Getting some crit on spells. I mean, we don't want to keep the mouths just for keepsakes. Currently at 80%, yeah. Okay. 
Oh wait, this is a Swain level 3? Yeah, we're not winning this one. The Noxus player really is rolling well. It seems. He's like the only one that's been like keeping us. Oh wow, this is my shop? Really? This is awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Like I have five bruisers, three void. And it's giving me Shurima and a bruiser. Like what? Why even the This was a terrible lucky shop. Terrible. This is a void player. Which we will have to watch out for because he's got the Kaisa, which can get through the back line here. Okay, we're clearly falling off a bit here. Or we're just hitting people that are currently pretty strong. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, okay, we just fought the two top people in the lobby, so. Like the Vyas we do want to keep for a possible level up here. This we actually want to sell and possibly just get the level up currently. Just so we have the level 7 shop here. That's why. I know generally you would have liked to have waited. Wait, we just straight up get the Mordekaiser? Insane. In... Oh, and another one. Okay, that's pretty much. Uh, so do we just want to make? No, I think we want to keep these two for the Sichuani and the Queen already. All right. Like once we get the Sejuani, the void goes. Okay, but Mordekaiser are already doing his best here. We are fighting against level 3 kill, so... People are hitting their, their breakpoints like very fast. I mean, we are as well, so... Uh, we do not need this, we do not need the Void Crest at all. You have my sword, we also do need... I think we're just gonna keep this. Uh, honestly, let's get the Heimer. Get some gold naders here. Oh, did we have two Rexha in play? And I didn't notice. That's a bit sad, I'll admit. Come on. There he is. Uh, this is way better. Come on, let me put the items on there. Okay, the golden aider is just to get us back up to gold, to be honest. Because... Okay, but the Mordekaiser level 2 right now is just probably gonna carry us through the first part. Um... <laughs> Getting two Heimers here at know what that does. Uh, but at this point I think we're looking pretty good here. Like... Oh, the shield is really health based, that's insane. It's absolutely insane here.
Well, at least they don't both count for it. But we're getting some gold from it. Perfect. I would love a second one, but yeah. We actually have two pills over here. <laughs> but we don't want that. Okay. From this one, what do we want? We actually want the attack speed here, I think. But I don't think we're getting it. In that case... We might want the HP just for a guard breaker. Yeah. Because guard breaker will do insane stuff on this guy. And the lucky shop, let's see. Oof. Okay, this is what I call a lucky shop. Get this guy some extra HP, he's at 4k HP. People are hitting. Yeah, that of course is the thing with this one. People are hitting their spikes very early all. Oh, that's the, that's the reason why this guy had the swing too so early. Oof, three level three. Okay, but he's only at level six. Don't think he can win against my Mordekaiser here. Okay, we're and getting the gold, yeah, for a gold. Perfect. Gets us back up to 20. Like that true damage from me. <laughs> the. Goldenator is insane as well. Perfect. Yeah, you're not gonna trigger this. I'll tell you this right now. And then now what we want is just uh, Atrex and the Quinn in the field instead of the Hammer, but the Hammer is gonna get us there. Okay, this time we should win this battle pretty handedly. Yeah, Mordekaiser are doing Mordekaiser things. Uh, actually, no reason for keeping him. These two. Meh. Let's increase our gold as soon as possible and let's go back to 50 here. Because we do want to get the. Okay, there's the gold we needed. Some HP, okay. Already a good start here. Okay, and then it ended. <laughs> the good start definitely ended. Think getting a second. I actually think getting a second Sterex for when we get the Aatrox is best. We should win this, they shouldn't be able to... I mean, level 1 to 20 has... Effectively 3k HP almost to start with, so... Oof. Okay, getting some gold, getting some items. Oh no, it's the enemy that got the item from his pose of war. In the lucky shop, let's see what we got. More the guys. Level 
let's do this. No, oh, this is actually great. Because that gets him triggering faster. So we want to deck speed on the Heimer. The Sichuani being level 2, also insane. The Queen increasing our damages, yeah. Getting 6 gold here. 8 gold. Just from Gold Nader, insane. Yeah, we are looking good to win this lobby. That's some wins. Let's roll down here to be honest. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? No Aatrox at all. Disappointing. I'm actually gonna sell this. Gotta sell this. Yeah. Get the thigh again, but nope. No Aatroxes at all. Uh, nope. Unlucky. Yeah, he's thinking a tank can stop him, but that's not the case. Just not how the champ works. Stopping him from attacking does do some stuff. Yard here would be insane. The hammer would have been good too, but the frail yard thing is definitely better still. I mean, basically, getting a sunner and shred for the whole board uh, always gonna be good. Let's see what we can get. Still only Quinn's. At this point I'm just gonna take him. Uh, take this as one. Oh. He got level 3 Rek'Sai so he shouldn't be going for that. Chances are small we can get it now. But the Mordekaisers are out of the pool or like in the pool back again. So Mord 4 is still an option. Yeah this guy is not winning. Unless he hits 9 and even then it's a low, it's a long shot on his part. He just can't do enough damage, I think. Oh, he actually can. <laughs> the Golden Ager doing the proc, nice. That was a close one though, closer than I would have liked. Come on, still no. Okay, there we go, double hammer gets us some extra stuns. Yeah, getting the hammer was a good thing, just being able to reroll, but we're not really hitting stuff anymore. Yeah. If I really want to smash this guy, I just swap these two around. But... Don't think it's gonna matter. Yeah, it's just not. Just not getting the 20. Ooh, that's a different bruiser. Yes. Oh, come on. Really not getting lucky here. Oh, I 
can actually remove him at the Cyan. Because now Cyan is definitely better. That's another Cyan. That's finally another Mord. Another Sedge one. Titanic Resolve. Who do we give Titanic Resolve here? I think we give it to... Uh, actually, we might... Yeah, at this point, I mean, just gonna put in the items. Like, the Aatrox doesn't want to come along, sure. Plus, I think at this point... Like, getting a tank into the backline, hitting stuff. That seems fair. Oh, he did get the guys to level 2. He wasn't winning, even though his guys did a lot. The lucky shop, let's see what we get. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, the Heimer level 2 is gonna do a lot more. He did get the. Ah, uh, this guy's keeping a uh, mord. It's annoying. Yeah, the fact that we haven't gotten the, the Force Slayer is really annoying. Definitely with the amount of gold we spend on it. Like an Armored isn't even like the strongest he could be, so it's really... Yeah, we might lose here. Unless, yeah, no, we lose here. Insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah, the kill doing the damage. He's not even level 9, so he could be worse. Oh, come on. What's this re-rolling? <laughs> You're fighting this? In that case, we honestly place this here. He made it to level 9, what's he putting in? Let's go. We also don't have items on our Quinn, which... We would have liked. But at this point, I mean, that Quinn isn't gonna be making the difference. Uh, nice, okay. Wow, he has a lot of stuff. Where did the stun come from? Hey. <laughs> Is the coordinator just gonna... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm doing what she needs to do. Or what he needs to do. This time, what do we pick? What do we pick? We might just pick the Ksante at this point. Just to get him an extra health item. Oh come on, where's the... At some point it should just automatically show up in my shop, no? Like nobody's using him. There's... oh there's... okay, one Atrex player, my bad. Like... 
Okay. Getting stun locked again by a lot. But this time it's actually. Yeah, that should be game for him. Now it's. Yeah. Okay, that's the Sejuani level 3. This is one level three here is insanely good, so I think this is one level three should trump this, even though that does suck a bit. Yeah, the true damage the one is dealing now is crazy. Like, I think Sejuan is our top damage dealer right now. <laughs> but yeah, that should be game. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Finally, a first again. Uh, so, that was Bruiser Comp. And yeah, like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. And I hope I see you tomorrow.